Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and it looks like we've got a graph here combined with uh, a word problem so super typical of the GED math, science, or social studies tests. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says last February, four houses sold on Privet Drive. Use the graph to determine the mean selling price. So I've been asked to find the mean selling price. of homes on Privet Drive in February. Um, so you can see that um, this whole graph is through the month of February and we have some home sales on Privet Drive and I can see that there's four dots. So I must have had four homes sell here. And, uh, now I have a lot of students who go, hey Kate, I totally remember how to find mean. To find mean, you just take the total and then you divide by uh, the number of items in the data set. And I'm really proud of them when they do that. However, I'll just tell you that those students who just remember that real quickly and don't bother to look at anything else get something wrong. Here's what they tend to do. They tend to just add 270, 210, 190, and 250 going, hey look, those are my four home price sales. Um, but even if you did that initially, I would think that you would stop yourself because I don't care if you're on Privet Drive or Robert Road or anywhere in the country, $270 for a house just doesn't even make sense. There must be something wrong with what you read on the graph. So be really careful. This is one way the GED can trick you. Make sure that you read any labeling on your graph. This particular one says this is the sales price in thousands of dollars. That means this 270 is not just 270, it's 270,000. 270 thousand dollars. So yes, add these up, but make sure you realize that they're in the thousands. So that's 270,000, 210,000, 190,000, and 250,000. And if you had this problem on the GED, you would definitely have a GED calculator and I have mine floating around somewhere but I can't find it so I'm going to do this by hand so um, at of course when I add up zeros I just get zeros let's see 10 uh, 17 22 24689 so I get nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars now be really careful a lot of students get so excited they do the totaling part and they just stop right there with a mean but that answer doesn't make any sense either to have an average home price on Privet Drive of $920,000 means we have million dollar homes there and none of those homes are in the million dollars. So don't forget your second step which is to divvy that number up equally between uh, all the items in the data set. In this case we had four houses so we'll divide by four because we're finding out basically the price per home, the average price per home. So four goes into nine twice with a remainder of one. 4 goes into 12 three times, and if you're wondering about the division that I just did, where I did it way, way faster than you usually do with long division, you should go check out my uh, sh uh, site division video, I call it, but it's also called short division. So I just divided that in, and I got um, 200 and $30,000. So average home price, $230,000. Awesome. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer it.